A lot of people come to Sedona to tune into this unique landscape and recharge. Today, I'm going on a Vortex tour that's gonna give me a chance to tap right into this energy. The word Vortex came about in the 80s to describe some areas with special energy. We're gonna go check them out. This is the cathedral. The Native Americans use this for a lot of ceremonies. Would you be able to tell us, is there a way to experience the vortex? Totally. So just feel the drum. Uh, we haven't even made it up to Cathedral Rock yet, and I already feel um, different than I did once I came here. So uh, let's keep going. This is the uh, manzanita. They would have used a little um, apple that comes off of it. So this is like their kitchen. Look how beautiful it is. Our guide just told us that the Native Americans used to do their ceremonies right where we're standing. So I'm gonna do some meditating and take it all in and make sure you do the same when you come here. So our guide Crystal brought us to another cool formation of rock. Over here we have Courthouse Rock, which got its name from Western movies. And over here we have Bell Rock, which is also known as Red Rock. And it's known as a masculine vortex, which has some grounding fountain of youth capabilities. So if you want to feel young, this is your guy. So one of the coolest parts about the tour is that it's tailor-made for who you are. If you're the type of person that wants to hear more about energy and chakras, she's going to tell you all about that. If you want to learn more about nature or the wildlife, that will happen too. It just depends on what you want. This tree actually reminds me of my grandmother a little bit. Well, let me introduce you to her. Um, she's really a, one of my favorite ones. So if you want to go in and talk to her for a minute. I will. Yeah, if anyone comes with an open mind, and they're gonna have a really great experience. I got to learn about the geology and also the meaning of all these like plants and animals. So it was both um, grounded in science and spirituality. So I think that was a really wonderful blend. Today I got to experience the magic of this place. I mean, looking at those rock formations and vistas have me feeling peaceful and inspired. It's no wonder people have been coming to experience this for thousands of years.